Volcanoes are pretty terrifying when you think about them. Like, super hot liquid, aka lava, just spewing out of it. And lava can be anywhere from 1,300 degrees Fahrenheit to 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. And there are currently around 1,500 active volcanoes around the world. 50 are said to erupt every year. That's insane. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan, and today I'm bringing you the top 10 scary volcanoes that could go off at any time. Starting off this countdown, we have the Mount Erebus Volcano. Located in Antarctica, the Mount Erebus Volcano is very active and has occasional small frequent blasts. Now, I know, you wouldn't think that Antarctica is a place for a volcano because volcanoes have hot lava and Antarctica is one of the coldest places, but it's true. The volcano was first discovered in 1841. Since then, it has remained very active. From 1986 to 1990, there was 200 eruptions. That's insane, that's a huge number, 200? In like four years but keep in mind that these weren't big huge eruptions they were just small blasts now don't worry although the volcano can erupt at any time it's said that it doesn't pose a threat to humans coming in at number nine we have the Monero boy volcano this volcano located on the pacific island of Vanuatu is said to be one of the most dangerous active volcanoes in the world its last eruption was in 2017 but it is said that it is currently showing signs that it may erupt again soon ash is beginning to fall on the island, making it hard to see and breathe. Then, when rain and ash mix, it creates a pile that's very heavy and it can cause things to collapse, like trees and roofs. Now, the island government has been preparing for this volcano to erupt. They are said to evacuate the island by May to protect the residents. The last time this volcano erupted was back in 2017, and the lava ended up destroying a large section of the island. Moving on to number 8, we have the Tungurahua Volcano. This volcano is one of Ecuador's most active volcanoes and has a height of 16,480 feet. Its name literally translates to Throat of Fire, or some people call it the Black Giant. This volcano has around 17 recorded eruptions in history, but people theorize that there have been more. In 1995, they experienced a long-term eruption that caused an evacuation of the nearby city. In 2000, researchers discovered that a new lava dome was forming in the summit crater. Then, in February of this year, scientists claim that the volcano is showing signs of structural collapse that may trigger another eruption. As a result, a section of the population that lives around the volcano had to be evacuated. Its last major eruption was in 2016 and spewed ash four miles high. Then, chunks of fiery rocks were expelled out the sides of the volcano, along with pyroclastic flows, which is hot gas and volcanic matter which affected nearby ravines. Making our way down the list at number 7, we have the Bardar Bunga Volcano. Located in Iceland, the Bardar Bunga Volcano is said to be building pressure and is preparing to erupt again. This volcano is located underneath Iceland's 500 meter thick glacier in the middle of the country. Over the past 10,000 years, this volcano has had 300 to 400 eruptions. It is said that it erupts twice per century. In 2018, four large earthquakes led scientists to believe that the volcano's magma chambers were starting to build with pressure again, meaning it could have another eruption. Its last eruption was in 2014, which went on for six months. And at number six, we have the Campi Felgre Volcano. This caldera supervolcano located near the western outskirts of Naples is said to be highly explosive. According to scientists, the volcano has been inactive since the 1980s, but are convinced that it is slowly becoming more active. There is said to be an increased amount of pressure within the volcano, making them believe it could erupt sometime in the future. But they don't know exactly when. However, they have theorized that if it does explode, then it could affect more than 1.5 million people in the surrounding area. They also theorized that an underwater eruption could produce 100-foot tsunamis. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with Mount Nairugongo. This volcano is located inside Virunga National Park in the Republic of the Congo. Since 1882, this volcano has erupted 34 times, but it's theorized to have been erupted many more times before then. This volcano is 11,000 feet tall and is extremely deadly. 
1977, an eruption killed more than 2,000 people. The lava was said to have spread into the lakes, causing it to spread faster and travel for miles, scorching and killing people along the way. This volcano also releases toxic carbon dioxide gas from the ground and has taken numerous lives through asphyxiation. Now, what's scary is that there hasn't been much research done on this volcano. We don't know the volcano's eruption patterns or how unpredictable it could be. In our fourth spot, we have Mount Ruapihu. Located in New Zealand, this volcano was actually a filming location for Mount Doom in Lord of the Rings. On December 24th, 1953, an eruption of the volcano caused a destructive mud flow which ended up destroying a railway bridge. Sadly, this happened at the time that a train was crossing and resulted in the death of 151 passengers. Then in 2006, another eruption caused an earthquake with a magnitude of 2.8. This caused a water plume to shoot 200 meters in the air with 20 foot tall waves crashing down. Its last eruption was in 2017, but scientists say that an eruption may occur at any level and can change rapidly. Therefore, we can't really predict when there will be another eruption or how deadly it could be. Moving on at number three, we have the Kilauea Volcano. Located on the southeastern part of the island of Hawaii, Mount Kilauea is the world's most active volcanic mass. This volcano rises 4,190 feet above sea level and is said to be the home of the mythical Hawaiian fire goddess Pele. In 1955, the volcano erupted and caused a series of earthquakes on the island. It is said to be one of the most destructive eruptions in the island's history. Then in 1975, the island was hit with another eruption that came paired with a tsunami. Then in 1983, the volcano had a series of eruptions that lasted into the 21st century. In 2018, a magnitude 5.0 earthquake that hit the island caused another eruption. This eruption affected a lot of residential areas and caused evacuation of those areas. It filled the clouds with sulfur dioxide gas and even sent volcanic ash 30,000 feet in the air. 2018 was the last eruption and scientists claim it is due for another one soon. In our second thought, we have the Galeras Volcano. Being over 1 million years old, this volcano is said to be one of the most destructive and deadly volcanoes in Colombia. In 1993, an unexpected eruption devastated so many individuals. During this time, the volcano was active, but was assumed that it wouldn't go off for a while. As a result, scientists and tourists were inside the volcano exploring it. That's when the volcano randomly erupted, resulting in the death of six scientists and three tourists. However, seven individuals managed to survive. One survivor describes this tragedy, saying that they were collecting chemicals and other substances when the volcano started to erupt, and this left his colleagues trapped among the ash and lava. Since that deadly eruption, there have been other sporadic eruptions over the years, but nothing as serious as that one. The last big eruption was in 2010. And in our number one spot, we have the Yellowstone Volcano. Located in the Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, the Yellowstone Caldera is a very dangerous active supervolcano. It is referred to as a supervolcano because it is thousands of times more powerful than just a regular volcano. However, this volcano has only erupted three times, 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 664,000 years ago. But now scientists say that it is long overdue for a massive eruption. If the volcano did erupt, then it is hypothesized that it could spew ash thousands of miles across the US, devastating a lot of people, crops, and buildings. A study done in 2013 revealed that the magma reservoir is about two and a half times larger than they thought. This reservoir is drained after every eruption and is said to take a long time to refill. But this study concluded that it was rapidly refilling, meaning an explosion can happen sooner than we thought. And that's all for today's video. Let's move on to our comment shout out section. I'll be shouting out comments from my video, Top 10 Scary Sesame Street Theories, Part 2. Lemon Zest on my fingers commented, Once I saw an Elmo doll move by itself. Okay, that's pretty creepy. But like, was it one of those Tickle Me Elmo dolls that like had batteries in them and actually move? Or if it was just like a regular doll, because if it was just a regular doll like on a table or something and then it started moving, that's more creepy. But uh, yeah, it doesn't surprise me if that Elmo doll was possessed or cursed. Norma Lopez commented, hello! Hi Norma, no need to yell, Um, but I love the enthusiasm, keep it up. Hi, how are you? Hope you're doing well, Norma. Shawnee Man Woodford commented, I love these theories. Always got me wondering and second guessing on some characters, shows, movies, etc. I agree. When I'm writing these and researching them, I'm like, pff, mind blown. Like, I like access my third eye or something and I'm like, I don't know, it's crazy. It really does make you think differently. 
like some theories are like kind of creepy spot on and others are like nah that's just that's like a leer region a little but that's all the comments i'm shouting out for today make sure you comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out and as always don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to most amazing top 10 for more amazing videos i've been your host Lindsay ivan and i'll see you when i see you